Hey guys, Zoe here from OneGlanceTrader.com and in this video I want to take you into a sneak peek of the OGT price action indicator version 1.2. So firstly I'd like to thank everyone that's, co that's come in and reached out to me with their suggestions, you know, bugs that they found, little minor changes that will make the indicator perform better, give better signals. So I've tried to take as much feedback as, as on board as 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 you guys already know, I've got pages and pages of notes on how to make this indicator better. And this is, you know, the next version of the OGT price action indicator. And what I really want to do today was just purely just talk about, you know, all the patterns that are in 1.2 and more importantly, the, the new patterns. So what I've done is, as you can see on my screen, uh, you can see a lot of dots, snowflakes, numbers, all sorts of things. So if you guys um, are new to the OGT price action indicator, it may be worthwhile you going back and looking at the previous videos of version 1.0 and 1.1 1 .1, uh, to get yourself familiar with the previous candlestick patterns that are in there. However, just going at the top, um, we firstly got the pin bar, so the pin bar, the ones with the numbers on there. Again, what I've done, I've done very loose uh, settings just to show the pin bar. So again, I wouldn't take any signals based on anything that you see on this chart here that I uh, uh, that I've done with with the settings. They're just there to kind of show you all the patterns and what what the what the signals look like. And again most of these patterns are customizable within the indicator to suit your needs to get more signals or less signals or reliable signals etc depending on how you want to do it one one of the most feedback i've got about this indicator is that um it is um completely versatile in terms of their needs and it and you know you can have so many variations of this so whether you're a pin bar trader or inside bar trader engulfing trader this one-stop shop indicator will do exactly what you need it to do and hopefully customizable to your to your needs so just before i go into the actual patterns just want to say that these lines that are in here they're from another indicator the round numbers indicator so for those who are following my work in terms of my journeys and looking at you know my my trading style i use round numbers quite a lot so these are not part of the indicator all you all it really is 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 these um buffer signals that you see on top of candles which i'll go through right now so the first one is you know to my heart the pin bar so the pin bar is the one with the numbers on there and um nothing's changed uh from uh from the previous version of of what of 1.1 i mean 1.0 sorry so that pretty much has stayed the same again very customizable so many options within there to kind of really whether you're a trend trader or a counter trend trader um and there are some stuff that i've been looking at within the pin bar for those who've seen kind of you know my, my previous videos um on there about trading with the trend but uh, that's for another day second is the uh, engulfing engulfing pattern so the engulfing pattern is is this kind of dots but has like what's kind of a star thing around them to a, uh, to a certain extent um, and again they haven't changed uh, from version 1.1 um so pretty pretty cool signal again quite customizable in terms of the sizes of the actual engulfing bar and things like that and checking the ranges of of the previous candles so again you've got some very so, some good customizable filters in there to suit your needs and then lastly is the uh, doji so the doji is the one where you have dots on either side again they're in blue because they're indecision candles not too sure which way the price is going and one thing what I've done is there was a bug on there is any live dojis that form while you have the indicator running on a live chart, every single bar preceding the doji has the doji signal, i.e. two two dots on either side, regardless of the, the shape and the size of the candle. That's now been fixed. So you can run a doji live and it will only show the doji pattern. And going forward, it won't show any more dojis unless a unless your doji criteria has been met so that's one of the fixes that um, a lot of you mentioned uh, in the previous version but other than that the doji is the same again you've got you've got the uh, you've got the open and the close distance again which you can change uh, within the uh, settings of the indicator 
and then on to two new patterns in there which you may see some new kind of um, signals on there and the first one is the um, is the marabozu so the marabozu an example of one here is this candle over here and we have a red or a green star as the signal there because obviously I've used so many signals for previous ones here uh, I'm fairly limited in terms of the actual icon icons or the symbols I can use and the marabozu effectively is where there is no wicks so um, it's a hundred percent filled body candle either red for a down or green for for an up up session so I'm on a 30 minute chart here so in this candle here opened here did not go any higher than the open and it closed a hundred percent at the low lowest low of the actual bar itself now I was toying with having you know uh, similar similar to the engulfing where the range of the bars covered you know 90% 70% but the more and more research I do on a Marabozu um, it's always been that there are no wicks so this um, indicator is not customized with any, uh, not customizable indicator because for it to be a true Marabozu there cannot be any wick showing or or no uh, no difference in price from the open and the close for these bars so Again, it's just it's reiterating that the signal uh, of the session rather is, you know, in this case to the downsides. And as you can see, price uh, price carries on go, going down. So I'll be honest, you don't see that many of them because uh, they're, you know, you're never really going to get, you know, the close being the absolute low and the absolute high being the open is quite very rare in terms of the testing I've done so far however they're quite reliable actually in terms of um, um, in terms of you know what the preceding bar is going to be you know on there be very interesting maybe in future videos to look back on you know the last 50 marabozus on a particular time frame and see what happened to price at the at the next bar so uh, that could be something for future videos um, and then the next one is the inside bar which is kind of shown by this snowflake uh, kind of symbol and the inside bar again is an indecision candle uh, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a two pattern formation kind of showing indecision not sure which way price is going to go you know, in, in future videos, uh, when I formally uh, release this indicator, I'll do videos on the inside bar in terms of, you know, you know, the the, the kind of normal way to, to kind of trade it in terms of what textbook industry standard says says around it. But this indicator is also customizable in terms of, you know, looking back at the uh, at the mother candle and seeing how far back you want to go how big the mother candle is um, from that perspective so so again inside bar is where a bar opens the high and the low are within uh, the previous candles range effectively so um, again it doesn't take into account how how big the wick size is or how big the body is it's just showing a bar that is in, been engulfed by the previous bar effectively so this is the opposite of of an engulfing bar so the engulfing bar and the inside bar both have the same settings looking at the mother candle if that makes sense so um, so once you look at some of the settings have a play with it it should be quite quite self-explanatory and um, that's it from a new patterns perspective the other thing that people are starting to uh, 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 mentioned to me was that the actual signals themselves were interfering with the actual wick so that they couldn't see where the low was uh, unless you looked over here but you can visually see where the low or the high was because um, they're interfering with that so what's been added inside the settings is um, you can actually set the distance of the symbol away from the high and low so obviously you know the um, the, the lower the time frame and you put 20 pips for example uh, or two pips sorry two pip two pips away from the high and low it is um, 
it's going to seem quite far away it's going to look visually okay however if you had the if you had it on a daily chart it wouldn't make that much difference because two pips on a daily chart is not that big of a range so again depending on what type of trade you are what kind of chart you're looking at you can set those filters up so you know they're out the way so to speak but you can clearly see what signal you're looking at from that perspective um and that's about it again i've just taken this this chart of the gbp usd because it had all the uh, um this price action ha showed every single symbol or pattern rather um so i just want to visually show you what they are um and other than that that's really about it i'm really excited to release version 1.2 like i said there are just a couple of things i need to go back with the coder to change um but hopefully I'd like to be releasing this, you know, within the next couple of weeks or so. So I want you guys to watch out for this because um, it's going to be big. And I want to get, again, I just uh, really appreciate your feedback so far on the previous two versions. I would love the same for version 1.2 and then look to see how we can make this better for version 1.3. If that means that we don't add any more patterns in and we just look to refine the settings of the current patterns or even we add new patterns in and, and do refining of the other uh, of the existing patterns whatever the answer is i'm open to suggestions this is it's not my indicator it's our indicator but we're we're kind of building this together on a journey so i really hope um you know we can make this success, success. and <clears throat> what i like to start seeing is you know from you guys is you know examples of trades that you guys have taken let me know when you guys see a signal on the gbp usd daily chart a pin bar being formed you know i want to talk about it i want to discuss it i try to do as much as i can in terms of examples on this channel but <clears throat> really hope if you guys could get involved at the same time so really hope you enjoyed this video any questions let me know and look 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 out for this indicator because it'll be coming in a couple of weeks time so really appreciate you guys watching this video